Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to introduce ourselves to object-oriented programming with uh, Java. Okay. So before uh, uh, getting started with it, uh, so first we need to install uh, an IDE. So uh, what is an IDE? So IDE is an integrated development environment. So which is a very comfortable way to write code. Okay. So to do that, uh, so first let us go to uh, web browser, which is Google Chrome. So the ID here we are using is a uh, NetBeans 8.01. So if, if I remember the latest version, so you type NetBeans in the Google search and go to the very first link. So you find the uh, NetBeans 8.01 ID. So if you click on the download option, so you get uh, this ID. Okay. So if you install that, uh, since I have downloaded and installed in my PC. So let me launch the ID here for you. That means 8.0.1, which is the latest version by the time of this recording. So whenever you uh, start using the NetBeans, you might find a different version. So NetBeans is the world's most uh, popular ID, which is used for uh, uh, Java programming, so which, is, which is very comfortable and one of the best IDs uh, you will ever use for uh, Java programming. So it always takes a moment uh, since my system is a bit ancient here. Okay, it's loading. So there are uh, quite different options uh, other than NetBeans like BlueJ, and you can use Eclipse. So whatever the ID of your choice, you can use. Okay, so I prefer uh, NetBeans, which is very comfortable uh, for coding and all, uh, doing uh, coding things. Okay, and also NetBeans is good for uh, uh, learning purpose. Okay. Still loading. Okay, so here we are uh, inside the NetBeans ID. Uh, okay, so the very first uh, you might something uh, it might appear something like this blank uh, sheet of NetBeans opening window here. So first we need to create a new project uh, before uh, writing code here. Okay, so select file new project and Java Java application. And let's name our project as a so class and object. So whatever you wanted, you can uh, name your uh, project here. Okay, so class and object. I'm just clicking finish option. So NetBeans uh, takes the privilege of creating a project with the name uh, class and object and a package. So this is called package. So we will learn about packages in depth uh, in the subsequent lessons here. So it also creates uh, the class and object dot Java uh, code file here. So here we have uh, uh, a very basic dot uh, Java file with the main method here. Okay. So NetBeans take the privilege of uh, adding the code automatically uh, to our uh, uh, project here. Okay, or our dot Java file here. So I'm just removing all the comments to make it a uh, little bit clear. Okay. So if you are familiar with Java programming language, uh, so you might not uh, uh, worry about this syntax here. Okay. So here, um, this is the base, very basic uh, Java uh, program uh, with a package at the very beginning. Okay. And a public class or the class which contains the main method here. Okay. So if you type uh, something like this, uh, system dot, so let's do a very small basic uh, program. System dot out dot Println. Okay, so let's say so hello world here. Okay, so we run this program. So you get just the hello world displayed here on the uh, output window here. Okay, so this is the very basic uh, Java uh, program uh, you can ever write uh, in this world here. Okay, so now our intention is to learn about uh, the object oriented features of uh, Java. So before uh, uh, learning uh, or going deep into object oriented features of Java, so first we need to uh, get familiar with the syntax of how to create, a, define a class and create an instance of it, which is also known as an object here. Okay. So to create a class in Java, so we need to use this uh, class keyword. So class, okay. So followed by, um, the name of the class so let's say here uh, to keep it simple so let's say the name of the class is program so you can create as many as uh, uh, as many number of classes you can uh, within the same dot java file 
okay so you can create as many as classes and you can uh, put uh, instance variables and methods inside okay so what is instance variables so we learn the moment here okay so the whatever the variables which were declared inside a class are known as uh, instance variables so here uh, let's take uh, two instance variables so let's let's say public int let's say mind okay so let's take only single variable to keep it as simple as possible okay so i have just taken a, a single instance variable so this is an instance variable okay so let's write a comment here so instance variable okay so next uh, let's take uh, let's define uh, two methods here okay so wide set data so wide set data so the class uh, by definition is nothing but uh, is an example of encapsulation here okay so the class is a or you can say encapsulated uh, way so the class is an example i'm writing it in a comment here example of encapsulation so encapsulation is a very basic feature of uh, any java program uh, a very basic feature of uh, sorry oops uh, terminology so encapsulation is nothing but uh, wrapping of uh, data uh, instance variables and member functions so member functions are the one which operate uh, on the data or uh, or the data uh, declared in the within the class here okay so on the instance variables so whatever the member functions you use uh, will operate uh, will perform some operations on that uh, instance variables okay so here we are defining two uh, uh, methods so if you write a function definition inside a class then it is known as a method here okay so let me write a comment here method in Java okay so let's since since we have uh, named this method as set data so let's say mind is equal to 20 okay so let's take another uh, method here let's say white uh, let's say print data so white print data so here what uh, shall we do is let's just output the that uh, variable uh, that value stored in that variable using the system dot out dot uh, function here okay so let's say my int is equal to so if, since you are familiar with java syntax we need to use this uh, plus operator to concat uh, string and uh, variable here so let's say mind okay so we are done with the so method uh, so since we have uh, taken one instance variable so this is the definition of our class here so it consists uh, nothing more than a single instance variable which is mind it consists of two definitions or methods okay let's say method in java let's write a comment here also so it's all as a method in Java. Or the, if you write a function inside function definition inside a class, then it becomes it's also known as a method here. Okay. So the combination of instance variables and methods together is known as a class here. Okay. So class consists of two main things. One is uh, uh, members or uh, variables or instance variables and methods. Uh, methods are the one which operate on the uh, which operate on the data of that class here. Okay. So now. Uh, so uh, just defining a mere class uh, can uh, gain nothing to us okay so in order to uh, access the members of the class or create an instance uh, to that class we need to define an object to that class here okay so in, to do that uh, we need to do it uh, in main so if you come back to your uh, uh, main class here which is class and object so obviously the name of the dot java file will be the name of the class which contains the main method inside okay so main method even though you define a number of classes the main method is the entry point uh, to your uh, program so first here uh, if you want to create an instance to the to the class which you have defined uh, above so you need to do it in the main here okay so let's say uh, the syntax goes like this to create an instance or object of a class so program p1 so let's say the name of the object so object is the is also known as an instance of a class uh, the, the program so here the name of our object is p1 is equal to new program within the braces and semicolon here okay so let's write a comment here creating an object creating an instance let's say creating an instance of a class that's nothing but an object here so here p1 
is an object here okay let's write that in the subcommon so p1 is an object to class program okay so here we have uh, uh, just uh, let's get rid of this unwanted comment here okay so we have just defined an object to our class program so here uh, so before that let's go to the front screen here so now uh, if you want to access the members of that class particularly uh, so here we have uh, forgot this very basic syntax here okay so we need to add public and with proceeding to the declaration here okay so here if you uh, want to access the members uh, or methods of that particular class program so you need to use uh, this object p1 along with the dot operator here so then only you will able uh, you will be able to uh, get whatever the methods you have inside that okay so here you have set data which is the first method and p1 dot print data okay so how many uh, so as long as uh, you have uh, uh, many different methods so you can happily uh, access them uh, within this uh, uh, using the object uh, and uh, okay so here if you observe uh, if you uh, for, uh, if you mistakenly omit uh, this public keyword here okay so this is very essential while defining methods here so public if you don't uh, make it public uh, then your method is not available in the subsequent uh, uh, further classes or uh, you might not be able to access the methods if you don't if you omit this public keyword here okay so this is very essential uh, so the the main uh, the good practice here is so all the instance variables must be uh, named as private so since uh, uh, they will be restricted within the the usage of them will be restricted within the within this class and all the methods or uh, uh, member functions uh, we call it in methods in java must uh, be uh, preceded with this uh, public keyword here okay so now if you uh, use dot uh, then you can have ax happily access this uh, data function here okay so now if you run this program so you might expect the output as my int is equal to 20 so that's what you have got here okay so this is the basic syntax of uh, so how to define a class uh, in an object oriented environment in java and create an instance to that class and uh, access the methods so to revise once again so here we have uh, taken a uh, created a project under the name class and object we have taken class and object dot java so in that uh, i have defined a class here which is a very simple basic class called as program which consists of a, a one instance variable which is mind and and two uh, methods so the first method set data uh, just assigns some value into that mind variable instance variable and the print uh, data method just displays the value whatever the value that is stored inside that uh, inside that instance variable okay whatever the value that is stored inside that uh, variable here okay so uh, in order to access or uh, uh, access the me methods or perform some operation or create an instance of uh, that particular class so we need to uh, create an object to that class so here p1 so using the help of the syntax program p1 is equal to new uh, program uh, we have created an instance to this class and then we have accessed access the members let's let's make a comment here so accessing the members or the methods let's say methods so for class using object and dot operator okay so in order to access the methods or members or instance variables of a class you need to have an object and based on that uh, qualifier or uh, access specifier uh, you get the x outside the outside the class and uh, in using the object and dot operator so you can call the methods here okay so if you run the program once again you get the output as mind is equal 20 okay so this is the basic stuff of introduction to class and object in java I hope you don't programming. So see you in the next session. Goodbye.